see that hole back there we walked past? That's where they did the blood sacrifices. Oh my gosh. We are off on a little adventure. We're gonna leave Red River just for a little quick camping trip to Bandelier National Park. Bandelier is the, hap for me, it's the happiest place on earth. It's uh, Indian cliff dwellings set in the side of, in a valley, and the dwellings are on one side of the mountain, and you get to walk through there, and you get to climb up ladders. Uh, what's the route? Um, what is our route? Our route is <laughs> from Red River through Cuesta, Taos, then Española, and then Española through to White Rock, which is just south of Los Alamos, and into Bandelier down in the canyons down there, so. And we're going grocery shopping. Yeah, we we'll go Rock. grocery shopping in White Rock, and we're gonna be uh, camping this one, and then we're going to Albuquerque to meet my buddy, or our buddy, uh, Mike, Mike, Mike Halbert. Yep. Muck505 on Instagram. So where do we go from here? From here we go to the entrance and tell the guy we're going to camp at Juniper and he'll let us in. Oh, so we get to go all the way down? Yeah. We don't have to take the shuttle? We don't have to take the shuttle down. Sweet. No, no. Okay. That's the plan. Yeah. All right. Let's go set up camp. All right. We're on it. All right. Got to go grocery shopping. Stock up for our camping. What happens when you shop in a really small town out in the middle of nowhere? You maybe you can't see that, so I'll just tell you. Nine <laughs> almost a hundred dollars <laughs> for for a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. And a bottle of vodka. Oh, <laughs> oh no, now he fesses yeah. up. <laughs> well, uh, it's all good. I know yeah. it was. Okay, so you guys want to see? This is our refrigerator. Yep, that's a, oh. a a a dry bag. All right. So that's what we're trying to stuff everything in, and and then we're going to try to stuff all of the groceries in the trailer, which is already stuffed, and then make our way to Bandelier. Leaving the grocery store in the town of White Rock behind us, we made our way along Highway 4. The road to the park is a motorcyclist dream. Since we were camping at the Juniper Campgrounds, we were able to skip the shuttle service in White Rock and make our way directly to our campsite. Located on the plateau of the 66th site, Juniper Campground can accommodate both tents and RVs. After going through the park entrance station, the campground consists of three loops with sites that are on a first come first serve basis and the cost is $12. The amenities are a little limited at this park. There is a restroom with running water, no showers, each site does have a grill and a picnic table. There are bear boxes available. They are highly recommended to be used. There are no electrical sites, but there is a dump station available. Not a bad spot, huh? No, it's beautiful now that the sun's gone down. <laughs> it was a little warm this I mean, afternoon. Look, look at this. This is all what's in that trailer. God bless Bush Tech trailers, right? That's our, our rig, is our bush tech. This is salt, pepper, and garlic. Oil or butter, probably olive oil. I don't think butter would have made it. Yeah. But we forgot something to make the eggs not stick to the pan. Make anything not stick to the pan. <laughs> made steak and egg burritos with cheese and chulula. Mm-hmm. Yummy. <laughs> Give me some water. We want to record the good, the bad, and what life is like on the road. Well, here's what life is like. 
after breakfast. They don't have any. They don't have any sink here for washing, so we're out here away from our camp washing this because there are bears, and we didn't want the food around, so we walked a ways they away. Say, they say they're bears. They say. They're <laughs> but, it, we're out in the middle, but we're out in the middle of the desert, I think. So we'll see how that is. So this is what part of what life is like on the road. It's figuring out if you don't have the resources. What you can use. Yes. So we don't put it in the mud now that we've created this mud. <laughs> or the sand. Yeah, the dirt. <laughs> you... <laughs> pretend, pretend, pretend you're a faucet and don't move. <laughs> you keep trying to, you keep trying to move. <laughs> You just stay one spot. I'll, I'll get to the food. <laughs> okay, I'm a faucet. <laughs> Consider yourself a faucet. <sighs> that was funny. <laughs> See your happy face? Happy face. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. This is a pro tip. You're, you're in Bandelier, Bandelier National Park in New Mexico. I think we did it. I think that's the, the pro tip is, is um, park at the amphitheater parking in the camp area by Juniper Campground. Then hike the Frey Trail down to the ruins and last bus leaves at five at the visitor center. It's a mile and a half walk. Yeah. And five o'clock leaves the visitor center you can get back up here to your campsite or to your car and go ahead and leave here's here's the deal in the summer it gets crowded so they have a shuttle system you yes. cannot ride your drive your car or your bike or your motorcycle or whatever you can't drive it into the park yep okay done with the pro tip <laughs> happy. She's happy when she's hiking. Yep. And I like downhill hiking, so it's all good. <laughs> Chris tells me, are you filming this? And I'm like, no. No, I'm trying to survive. I'm trying to breathe air. That's what I'm trying to do. <sighs> I think this is cool. We're doing a water break inside. Inside an ancient Indian <laughs> See that hole back there we walked past? That's where they did the blood sacrifices. Oh my gosh. See those little cutouts? Mm -hmm. That's where they collected all the blood from the blood sacrifices. <laughs> okay, so we just finished going through the longhouse. And what a lot of people do is they get to the end of the longhouse, come here, and they turn around and they go back to the visitor center. If you have the time and the inclination and the energy, go that way. Half mile. Half a mile to the alcove house. You will not be disappointed. Dude, I've seen some pretty crazy stuff here, but 
Yeah, we watched one guy come down the ladders that you'll see shortly. Face, face first. first, holding a two-year-old. No, two-year-old on his shoulder. On his shoulder. On he his was shoulder. holding it with one hand, and the other hand was and holding he was, the And he was coming down face first. <laughs> and I'm standing below him, and I'm like, okay, if he falls, I'm not catching him, yeah. but I'm going to try to catch the baby. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty bad. There's some things you just have to get off the bike and do because you're not going to get a motorcycle back here or up there. So that's what I'm excited about. All right. Here we go. Up, up. up to the alcove house. It's a good thing you're skinnier. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That's a narrow little spot there, yeah, huh? I would not have made this a couple years ago. You know, obviously the uh, the Native American, the Pueblo people who were here, those were some fit, badass little individuals, let me tell you, because <laughs> these ladders were not here when they lived here. You should be proud of yourself. So in case you're wondering, Richard used to weigh 350, 355 pounds? 356 pounds. And when it came to hiking, well, there was no hiking. <laughs> I was on a couch. Yeah, it was couch hiking. Yeah. <laughs> and here he is. And this is a pretty, this is a pretty awesome thing. Uh, about 115 pounds down. Yep. So, yep. still more to go. It's awesome, but still, got you back here. <laughs> I mean, how, how many butts are there? I hope not. We got butt, we got butt right. cleavage. <laughs> plumber's butt, butt cle cleavage. Get, That's get what we here. get to see. That's what we saw today. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay we made it. We're alive. We made it down and up. 140 Fantas feet. Fantas 140 feet up. Bunch of ladders. Not bad with a couple of knee replacements. <laughs> It's awesome. Yeah. It's so pretty back here. I can hear the plastic grinding. Oh my gosh. But it's all good. It's plastic. There's not, no nerves or anything in there. It doesn't hurt at all. Uh, it just goes. I don't think anybody wants to hear that. Well, somebody get knees. I mean, it's, think about it. Think about all the okay, old so, guys out there. So you think too. about all the old guys out there that have bad knees. There's yeah. hope. There is hope. There's hope. There's hope. And if you're overweight, there's hope. Where That's there's it. life, where there's life, there's hope. Go That's for it. it. Just get out there and do it. And do it. Make it happen. <laughs> yep. Okay, here we are. Mm -hmm. We just finished Bandelier, and now the best part is we're gonna we get to get on the shuttle, and it'll take us right back to our campground, our campsite. Yep. No walking up the vertical cliff. Five five hundred and fifty six <laughs> feet up to Juniper Campground from the from the lodge here, or the what do you call yep. it? Yep. In fact, here comes our bus right yep. now. Check the bus has up. come. The bus has come every half hour, so. 11, 11 30, 12, 12, 30. starts at 9 to 3 o'clock. 9 in the morning till 3 p.m. So we just broke camp and, and now we have found about the only shade left in Bandelier. <laughs> yeah. And we're having a quick lunch before we get on the road and heading to Albuquerque. We're gonna go see Even our like good cavemen. <laughs> we're gonna go see our good friends Mike and Cozy Halbert next. But, Monk 505. But first it's lunch in really hot weather.